Hey guys, welcome back to Creating with Mo. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you my new traveler's notebook. I have made some changes in my 2020 planner lineup, and I have switched my um, everyday carry, my daily carry, or my purse planner, as I like to call it. I was using this mini happy planner um, for my everyday carry, but I did find if you're problems with it that it didn't particularly um like such as when i changed the pages just see i just turned it just now and it comes off the rings so i'm constantly every time i'm flipping it having to go back and push it back in which absolutely just drove me insane another issue um that i had was the boxes are really small for the days in my opinion um so it wasn't every day that I felt I needed to write something, but on the occasions where I did, I just felt like I did not have enough room there. So that was also another issue um, for me. But my biggest issue was the turning of the pages that they would just come right off the ring. So um, I wasn't really happy with that. I was going to go ahead and continue to use it just because I bought it and I didn't want it to go to waste. However, after watching a bunch of... Um, YouTube videos I saw you know how they kind of recommend more videos as you watch and um, I started watching some Trevor notebooks um, videos and as I was watching it I thought oh, I have something like that my husband had bought me this um, traveler's notebook as a gift just because he knows um, that I enjoy journaling and so for the longest time, I've been using these two books to journal and I don't journal daily. So these have lasted me um, a few years. I might journal maybe three, four, five times a month. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I still have space in both of these. And so I think that was, he probably just saw this and thought it was something that I can use to journal in. He also bought my daughter one and then this is hers here. Um, but at this point when I got this, I had never, I wasn't into planning. I didn't know anything about the planning community. And while I did love it, I was really unsure as to what to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my daughter's one to sh show you what it looked like when I got them. They're both identical in, um, inside. And so I had this plain page one here and then the lines one here. Um, yeah, while I really did love it, I just, and I thought it was just a very um, nice gift from him um, for no reason, you know, just because I didn't really know what to do with it. And so I've just been kind of waiting to figure out how to use it. But after watching those traveler notebook videos, um, it was really nice to know that, oh, I can have a use for this now. So I'll show you what mine looks like now. I did do a lot to them. I kept the two inserts that came with them, but I found that I wanted to have more in there. So I ended up um, making some inserts myself. Well, so uh, let's see. I have one book, two, three, <clears throat> four, five inserts in here, five inserts. And I'll go ahead and start to take them out. And I'll show you each insert and what I'm using it for. So I have some videos also on how to make a pen loop. So I just used a hair tie for this because I didn't have any elastic um, and I really didn't want to purchase any. So I did have some of these clips laying around the house and I just cut up a, a hair tie and hot glued that. So my first insert is the monthly and I purchased um, some products, some planner products. I think I got some stamps from an SD shop and it came with this thank you card and I cut it down and it said thank you for your order and um, it's kind of like cardstock. And so then that's what I use for the outside of the insert and for the inside I had this old uh, bullet journal that I got from Hobby Lobby man maybe like four or five years ago and I still have blank pages in it so I just took the pages out um, folded them in half and used my sewing machine 
to just sew it down the middle here. So that's how I made this. And then I did stickers. And then this just has uh, the months in it only. And I haven't gotten to decorate it all the way through. But that is my monthly insert in my planner's notebook. Next I have um, what was supposed to be my journal. And as you can see I had two of these. So I took the outside of the other one for this cover and then did the same thing as far as the um, pages inside and sewed it as well. I tried hand sewing it and then I didn't do a good job so I had to redo it with my sewing machine. Um, but yeah this was supposed to be my journal but um, what it ended up being was a daily quote. So I just do the month and then the days of the week here and then I will just generally write down a quote or a thought um, or something I've heard or read that just I find inspiring or want to keep in mind so that's just all of that um, so I actually need to change that take journal off and put um, quotes on it that is how I'm using that insert so I don't normally keep this with me and my everyday carry this stays at home and I will fill that in um, daily at home this one I do keep in my traveler's notebook next I have my book list I've been trying to keep track of the books that I read so I have my reading log here and then each month I just list each book that I read the author and then give it stars so this I also do not keep in my traveler's notebook I don't take it on the go with me um, I do just leave it at my desk at my home so that is that uh, what else do I have in here so I did make a writing board this is my writing board and this is also from the same journal and I just use tape because I don't have a laminating machine so I just use the big uh, clear packing tape to uh, kind of laminate that and then I just have some die cuts here and this came, this little folder came with um, some stamps that I purchased, I think from Michael's, I can't remember. Um, it was a little too long, so I did cut it there. And as you can see, I did not cut it evenly because I didn't have my cutting board. Um, and the plastic was a little harder to cut than I had anticipated. And then I have some sticky notes. So I just wrapped that around this planner. Oops, it's stuck in there. Let's see. There we go. Um, so that is that. I do keep that in there normally. And then I have my, I just put 2020 planner. I wasn't really sure what I was going to use it um, at first. And then I decided to kind of do an overview of uh, my year. So I have the year of the glands. And then I have my um, household yearly list, just things that I need to do um, throughout the year and the schedule of when I need to do them. And then some projects that I wanted to do around the house, I've been listening in and then listing them here and then filling in the bubble as I go. Um, so that's things I want to do for the home and then there's this things that I want to purchase for my home. Um, we've been in a house for almost six months now. So, you know, as owning a home, you find all these things that you want to do to your house. And then I have my to buy list for both my kids. Um, often I'm always like, oh, I need to get this. And then I just forget. So I am using this ongoing list as I think of things that they need. Then I try to jot them down here. So, um, when I'm ready, I can just go ahead and purchase them. Uh, and then my exercise schedule, um, my car maintenance schedule, my hair schedule, and my toothbrush schedule. So I do change out everyone's toothbrushes in the house every three months. And then here I just kind of have an overview of each month. And this is kind of like pre-planning, I guess, where I'll put down the habit tracker ideas that I want to do for that month, any 30-day challenges, and then my uh, social media um, schedule. So that is that section. And then I have a dream log, which I've recently started doing. There's a notes section. And then I have a finance um, section as well in here. So that is how I broke that down. And then I just have uh, these little clips to keep that there. So my last one is my weekly, which I just, let me see. 
put kind of down my schedule and some thoughts throughout the day. Um, but I just started that uh, April. What day was that? April twentieth. So I'm still very very new to this. Um, so far, I like it. It is very uh, light to carry. Um, I like that I can change things out, just take a whole notebook out and put something else in if it's not working. Um, I do keep a few cards in the pockets here and then, you know, just odds and ends, post-it notes, um, checks, cash, whatever in here. Um, and it is a very good system. I really enjoy it. I'm hoping that it will, um, really work for me and if it does last all year and I'm really satisfied with it then um, I will probably be doing it again next year in 2021 I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video uh, thank you so much for watching and happy planning